We could see some serious rain. And that's true. Absolutely. We're looking at a threat of flash flooding. Hey, here in East Tennessee, that is something that is all too common. That is our um, most common severe situation, especially crashing into the mountains. Right now, live Doppler, you can see our sweeps not picking up too much at all. As we zoom out a little bit, you can see there's a big frontal system there off towards our west. So we're looking at the chance of scattered thunder showers as we take it off uh, throughout your Saturday, mainly the second half of the day, especially and late Sunday night, especially the overnight into your Monday, the rains come down. We're talking about a lot of moisture up to two inches, especially for places off into the plateau. For the evening, we're looking at warm conditions, 75 into the overnight, mild at uh, 62, adding the clouds in, and then those rain chances, like I said, start to set in into your Saturday. So I'll give you more with your weekend planner coming up. Here's a check of the forecast as we head throughout the day tomorrow. Scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, and intermittent throughout the region. And as we go into Sunday, first half of the day looking somewhat dry, but then we really pick up the rain overnight. Could see up to two inches off towards our west. Sounds good. I think uh, Mark is taking this one. Home. I couldn't <laughs> get up. He wouldn't let me get up. I'm stuck. Preston's finishing the show. We'll see you with more weather updates at five o'clock. I tell you what, today's a beautiful day, but uh, you know, I've got to cut the grass this weekend. I've got other things I'd like to get done. So what are my options here? Absolutely. I know we have to look for our look out for our basements. Uh -huh. Little League games could be canceled this weekend. Many things to think about. And we are going to see the rains come down. It's something that you can count on at this point. We're going to get one big system as we head into the day tomorrow about midday all the way through the afternoon and evening hours, showers and thunderstorms. And then behind that, we're looking at flooding Sunday night into your Monday. Now, here's a check as we zoom out. Not a lot of activity in Tennessee, but there's that first hit that we're going to get a, a cold front off towards our west. Like I said, that's going to bring showers and thunderstorms. Let's go ahead and plan it, though, into the next about 18 hours. We're going to get an overnight low about 62, mostly cloudy for the morning. We are going to get a uh, big warm up, but then the rain start to come down. Look at how much rain we're anticipating anywhere from about three to five inches just in the middle of the state and still looking at really high rain rates for us. And I'll give you that estimate coming up. All right. Wow. Thanks, Megan. Welcome back. Hope you're doing great. Hey, it's Friday. You can't beat it. Outside we have the sunshine feeling good. We're really warm, feeling like summer. How about that? The temperature's amazing today. I'll get to your almanac in just a second, but we got to look at the live run of things. How are we doing on the Doppler? Hey, we're clear here in Tennessee. As you would anticipate, we're seeing those clouds move in, but not the precipitation as of yet. As we give it a good zoom out, you can see, look at this guy. Yep, yeah, we have another system lining up. It is a cold front stretching all the way from the Western Great Lakes all the way down through parts of Missouri and even through Louisiana and into Dallas. So continuing to expand and build on itself. It's going to pick up some of that moisture out of the Gulf. You can see it adding in just a little bit there. That's what we're looking for into your Saturday. That crosses in showers and thunderstorms. Good chance, especially in the second half of the day. But our next system that really we're, we're concentrating on that comes in Sunday night into your Monday. That's the flooding rain threat. We'll get to that in just a second as well. 85 Yep, I promised you a warm one, 85 degrees today. Normally we should be at about 73. We didn't make a record. Ours was so very high, 92. But the Tri-Cities getting close to that marker and even making it in a couple of places up towards our northeast. Low last night, 46. A little bit cool. Look at that. We had a, almost a 40 degree hike in the temperatures throughout the day. Hey, we have those southerly winds kicking up. Anything we have from the deep south, and you can see they are sustained. They're a little brisk throughout the day, kind of wrestling the trees a little bit, now settling back as we go forward and they'll continue to do that tonight. Really warm with the temperature still many cities still into the 80s or upper 70s mid 70s up near the state line where we're always a bit cooler and here's a look at satellite imagery showing the clouds getting a little bit darker as we go through the middle of the state into the plateau a little bit and then that will cross in as we go into tonight first with the clouds but then you can see of course this rainmaker behind this cold front diving through the nation's midsection like I said that sets in as we go into your Saturday especially so for tonight just looking at added clouds warmer temperatures at 62 and then into the day tomorrow 82 scattered rain chances and then we'll see it kind of intensify as we bring it forward 5 a.m. there's showers up towards our northeast but they mainly take it into parts of Kentucky at noon we're going to see a little bit of a dry out but then most of the rain does flip in from the south scattered especially the second half of the day 11 p.m. couple of those thunderstorms but we are going to see cloudy skies strong winds as we go into your Sunday we're going to see a late chance of heavy rain 
and it is going to be really, really heavy. So we can see up to four inches Nashville taking into some portions of the plateau from the plateau into the valley, three inches Central Valley, uh, mainly into the metro area. We're going to look at about 2.5, two inches as we go a little bit to the northeast. We're talking here uh, just about uh, Jeffer uh, Jefferson City, Dandridge area taking up towards the northeast. We're looking at an inch and a half moving into the mountains. This is just into the overnight Sunday into your Monday. So a lot of rain and a short amount of time. Watching that, we're cooling into next week, basically bringing back the sunshine, looking nice until Friday. A beautiful day today, but we've got some rain moving in. That's true. We are looking for a wet weekend, especially tomorrow afternoon. The flooding possible Sunday night into Monday. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here at 11. Bye bye. We saw sunshine today still out there. Megan Campbell is in the Weather Center keeping an eye on everything. Hi, Megan. Hi. Yeah, so glad that this situation over. We had a really rough 24 hours. Some places up to three inches of rain to five inches of rain, of course, into our plateau. That's mainly where everybody sat for this event. And you can see that the rain now starting to taper off. Luckily, moving off towards our east. Uh, maybe a couple of very stray showers as we look into the Knoxville area now, but pretty much everything gone. We have to focus on the floods that are still uh, the rivers that are crossing. Still a flood warning in effect for Fentress, Cumberland County, McCreary County, Whitley County, Knox County, and Lee County. Also looking at Hancock County there and the Powell River. We need to watch that into Hancock and Lee counties. The Emory River into Roan and Morgan, Morgan County, Little Pigeon River, and also the Cumberland River and South Fork River. So we're going to be talking more about this tonight. Things are pretty calm. 55 degrees, a calm forecast, but I'll tell you you more on what's expected coming up. All right, Megan, thank you very much. Welcome back. Great to see you. Hope you're kicking off the week all right. And of course, we're talking about this big flooding event. It's pretty amazing. We went into this event at negative 3.5 when it came to a deficit. Now we're only barely at a deficit. Absolutely almost making up for that. And of course, much more as we take it off towards areas into middle Tennessee and also even here at home. I mean, we had 6.4 inches of rain into Fentress County. County and a 5.8 inches of rain when it, we came to Cumberland County. The Cumberland River is still extremely full at this point, especially at Baxter and Pineville, South Fork into parts of Kentucky. The Kentucky River around Oneida is absolutely cresting very, very high this hour. Most of the rains are, like I said, pressing off, mainly off towards the east. There's maybe a stray shower or two just pushing into the mountains now, but for the most part, we're about 98% uh, done. We're going to see the rest of those falling out as we go into nighttime hours, but the flood warnings will continue all the way until tomorrow afternoon. This is for Fentress County, of course, Cumberland counties, the places that we just talked about there with the runner with the rivers running extremely high. And then we're going to take it to McCreary County, also effective for Whitley County, Knox County, Kentucky, Lee County, Virginia, and also Hancock County still under that flood warning because our rivers are still crusting, still very high. It's going to take at least 24, 36 hours before they even start to subside enough to bring us some relief. So we are seeing a lot of heating today and drying. Now that is assisting things. Let's go ahead and get to a flood advisory we have. This is also for Bell County, Kentucky. But want to get back to the warning one more time and highlight all the rivers that we're having problems with. The Little Pigeon River in Sevier County, it's cresting now, still very high. The Emory River at Oakdale, Tennessee. This is affecting Morgan and Roan counties. Watch that around the Chickamauga Creek too as well. Also, as we look one more creek, the Powell River, and this is affecting Hancock and Lee counties up towards our northeast. Let's go ahead and get the count. Official rainfall today. This is just today, 1.77 for April. We should have normally about 2.61. And as we look into your average rainfall, 18. And look at that, that deficit just barely in that marker. We really made up for it with this event and we'll continue to see improved conditions forward. Lots of heating out there, about 80 degrees for many communities, especially as we look off towards the west. The rain leaves us, those heavy torrential rains down towards the south. We'll see it in two parts of Atlanta and into South Carolina, but behind that, lots of high pressure and pretty much nothing to worry about from this point on as we go throughout Predictor tomorrow. Uh, lots of drying, good conditions. We're going to see a lot of evaporation. That's exactly what we need. We need things to settle. Drying out into your Tuesday, 83 to 85 degrees, sun and clouds into Wednesday.
a good calm system all the way until Friday. We have a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms that could linger a little bit into your Saturday and then we'll cool see 70s and about 50 on the back side. All right, Megan looks nice for a few days anyway. Finally, the rain has moved out. That's really good news for Tennessee. Absolutely it is. We need that dry on. We are going to have it over the next few days and we're warming up. So we're going to see a lot of evaporation. Hopefully a lot of those streams and creeks that are suffering now will improve over the next 24 hours. Not looking for rain until this weekend. Hot and then we'll cool off on the back side. Sounds good. Thanks, Megan. Goodness, we need to dry out. Hey, we'll see you again at 5 o'clock. Andy Griffith is next. We'll see you in 33 minutes.